guys. Gargana 5 here. Went and got me some some of that uh, uh, sex juice. Gonna get out and go ride. Okay, no, not really. I'm going out to a family member's house again. Figured I'd uh, <clears throat> kick the camera on and uh, talk about uh, what Mr. Uh, Ninja Boots was uh, talking about the other day. Was uh, the reason he uh, he started uh, moto vlogging. And well, I've uh, watched, I've been watching guys moto vlog for quite some time now. And uh, it's extremely evident that I did not get the picture how to do it. <laughs> but anyways, um, um, my first moto vlogger that I watched, that I really got into was um, Mr. Blinky Cab. And uh, he took a, he was, you know, he did moto vlogging for a while. It was uh, on a Ninja 250 for a long time, and then he uh, he took a a, a two-year hiatus, and um, don't really know exactly 100% what all it was about, but you know he uh, he event he ev evidently eventually got tired of uh, not having his old ride to play with and not having not having two wheels. He did a. Uh, make a little vlog here and there on you know friends with uh, bikes but uh he he uh ultimately wound up going and getting him a, another bike again which i was very happy to see because well i always liked his videos um he was uh always entertaining and always had a good topic <clears throat> and um you know i watched him for a long time and i it was actually before i really knew that there were many other moto vloggers out there now it's they're, the community is gigantic now, well, at least compared to when I first started watching him. And uh, he was a very, he's a very cool, laid-back guy. Totally awesome, you know, and uh, funny. Uh, and it is still windy as shit out here today. Oh yeah, well, hopefully the audio will still pick up. I did change the uh, location of my mic, but. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna pick up worth the damn. Anyways, back to the uh, back to what I was talking about. Um, I started off watching Blinky Cab. I watched him for a long time, and then um, he, uh, like I said, he took a hiatus, and and that was when I was really uh, uh, starting to get into multiple different kinds of moto vloggers. <clears throat> I and uh, I enjoy all kinds of moto vloggers. I like guys that are on cruisers. Uh, like Triple X Deadhead. I like guys that are on sport bikes. You know, um, I like the big guys all the way down to the little guys. And it doesn't matter to me as long as you got a good topic. You know, being funny is awesome on top of it. But uh, I appreciate you guys actually taking the time, many of you that do watch my videos, for actually watching them. Not to mention commenting and, and subscribing because, well, I really just don't think I'm that interesting. Um, uh, Ninja Boots, he, uh, I guess he's okay, you know, he's, he's a father and he does his thing and he's, you know, I'm not on his level, but I really think it's pretty cool that, uh, you know, yeah, I got, I've got a little bit of in common with the guy and uh, the fact, you know, he's so down to earth too. Everybody I've met is really down to earth. Um, I think some of the uh, bigger moto vloggers get discredited because they don't always, you know, have time to ride back. But I don't know. I mean, I, I try to talk to, if anybody talks to me at all, I try to reply to them, try to talk to them. Um, but, uh, you know, I don't have hardly any subscribers, so <laughs> it's easy for me to do. It's the guys that uh, have the uh, thousands and thousands and then hundreds of thousands of subscribers that, uh, you know, they're the ones that are, you know, it's, it's hard for them to get back to you, you know, I mean, uh, one of my, another one of my favorite vloggers, which is uh, Double T90T, um, 
I sent a message to him a while a uh, while back and it wasn't it didn't take just a couple days for him to get back to me he actually got back to me and you know he was real cool real nice guy and um, I don't know I just don't think that uh, you can you can become not you not become yourself because you're surrounding yourself with a world full of people that do exactly what you like to do and what you love I mean and the reason that finally getting to the point you know the reason that I did it wanted to start doing mud up vlogs is because well I live in a little last town where there ain't shit to do I tried playing music um, and the music thing either led to one of uh, a couple things um, drugs alcohol which I, I took that path on both of those for a little bit um, I really did enjoy uh, playing music but um, just the kind of lifestyle that comes with it, at least around here, um, the kind of lifestyle that goes with it is that whole, uh, I call it the uh, rock star mentality. You know, raise hell all the time. Go around, you know, and just, I'm not that kind of guy. I'm not the... I like I said, I've raised a little bit of hell in my, in my earlier years, but I kind of got out of that. And I'm not trying to get arrested, or I'm actually trying to do things legit now. And well, this right here, this right here, right there, you right here. I'm not even sure if I'm pointing at you. You, this place here is my outlet. This is where I can come and you know relieve stress talk about stuff that doesn't matter and you know of course no matter where you're at you're gonna have people that are gonna judge a little bit but at the same time <laughs> such is life everybody's gonna have an opinion opinions are like assholes but uh mine just smells a little better anyways uh <laughs> no i'm um i kid i kid i mean uh, but like I said, everybody's got their opinion, and um, wow, that's weird. Right down through that valley where that little creek is, it was actually warmer. But uh, you know, it, it, this gives me something to do that I feel like I'm doing something constructive, and I'm not really wasting my time. But just like I said, just by the couple of people that do watch this, which I appreciate every single one of you. Um, subscribing to my channel to have every single one of you that you know comment and talk to me you know I'm just a little, I'm just a, dude, a little dude from a little town called Norwood North Carolina and Norwood aka middle of nowhere I mean you see the scenery it is pretty evident that where I live yeah, there ain't shit going on. But, like I said, all you cool ass guys that get on here and talk to me and, you know, give me input on things, you know, and, and you know, conversation, this is just cool as hell. So, I mean, for me to get any kind of response out of anybody was a damn shocker out of me to begin with, you know. And, uh, hell, hell, honestly, I don't know if I would be just totally happy keeping a small subscriber base because you know, I mean don't get me wrong I would love to blow up and it would be cool and, and hang out with thousands and thousands of people I'm totally open to that not gonna lie but at the same time it's uh it's pretty cool because I'm you know I'm making some friendships that I never would have so I just wanted to say thanks guys y'all are pretty damn cool anyways this is Gargant's 5 we'll hit y'all later